Hi guys, welcome back to the Gazelle Lab. This is Anthony. Today we have a full review of the HTC One smartphone. Uh, this is the latest offering from HTC. Uh, is their new flagship device and it is available right now on AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile and uh, it's available unlocked directly through HTC. So let's get in some into let's get straight into some of the the hardware specs first. Uh, I can show you this lovely phone lovely phone. It's probably one of the nicest pieces of hardware you'll you'll actually ever see on a on a any phone right now that being Android or or iPhone even the iPhone 5. It is a unibody all aluminum design. It really feels premium, you know, luxurious, expensive. Uh, it's a pleasure to hold. Um, I think it's just HEC has done a fantastic job with the build quality and I think it's just the perfect size too. So, I'll get into that that size right now in, t in terms of dimensions. It's 137 by 68 by 9.3 millimeters thin, so uh, it maintains a very slim profile, but it also has this curved back, which really nicely fold, like fits into your hand, so it's not just a plain slab back. It's a little bit curved, uh, so it feels really nice in the hand. It feels really, uh, really solid. It's 143 grams, so it's got some nice weight to it, and I, I really like that in a, in a phone like this where... It, you know, something that looks expensive, it has to feel heavy and gives it that premium, not only look, but that premium feel. Uh, uh, in terms of network connectivity, you know, this is GSM 850, 900, 1800, 1900, HSTPA Plus 850, 900, 1900, 2100. This version is from T-Mobile, so it will support uh, T-Mobile's 4G network, HSPA Plus on the 1700 and their LTE, but it's not available in Boston where I am, so I didn't really get a chance to test that. Uh, let's head over to uh, the actual screen, this gorgeous 4.7 inch screen. It's a 1080p screen, this is 1080 by 1920, uh, but when you put that at 4.7 you get 469 ppi, it's, that's the pixels per inch or pixel density, so it really creates this really beautiful display which is crystal clear. Uh, you know, I think it's far better than what we've seen in you know, the likes of the iPhone 5, even the, the the Galaxy S4, which I just got, and I'll be doing a review against uh, that as well. So you can just see some pictures that I've taken. Uh, you know, these things are really nice. You know, the screen is really nice. So that's an HTC Zoe. We'll get into that in a little bit as well. Really cool features. Uh, a lot to talk about here. Uh, so let's get back into the actual hardware and. Like I said, this thing's, uh, in terms of processor, it's running a quad-core 1.7 Crate 300 CPU uh, at with 2 gigabytes of RAM and an Adreno 320 GPU. So it's very fast, very quick. One of the one of the fastest uh, phones out there currently. Uh, you know, I haven't had any problems with it. It, it is a, you know, it's a Snapdragon 600 uh, processor. So this is one of the latest ones from uh, Snapdragon, from uh, Qualcomm. Uh, it's featured in this phone, and it's featured in the the U.S. version of the of the Galaxy S4 as well. Uh, it's overclocked on the on the Samsung at 1.9, and this is sort of 1.7. So performance is right up there with the best of them. Uh, in terms of OS, we're talking uh, 4.1.2. So you're not going to get 4.2.2 like you get on the Galaxy S4, uh, but they say an upgrade's coming soon. And then classic, you will get HTC Sense. Uh, 5.0 on top of that uh, and we'll get into sense in a little bit but let's just uh, stick with the rest of the hardware for now so as you notice the front right here you can see this this is the 2 megapixel camera and then you notice these speakers here this is very unique uh, on a phone these are Beats Audio they call them boom sound it's dual speakers I can uh, show you perhaps a little video if I go into YouTube you can hear the sound quality it's it's truly fantastic, you know. It's I never really heard anything like in a smartphone like this. Just put something on with a little bass or something. So I'm on Wi-Fi right now. So this is, if you notice, the volume is down. Then we're gonna slowly put it up. Let's fast forward a little. Okay, there we go. So watch as we put this thing up, it produces really good sound. And that's Max right there.
But like I said, it's 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 really amazing. One of the probably the best speaker I've seen on a on a cell phone, which is fantastic. You know, crystal clear sound and uh, deep bass. So good job by Beats and HTC bringing that uh, those speakers to actually the front of the phone, not like uh, some other phones. You know, you get a small speaker on the back. Uh, sticking with the hardware still, uh, let's look on the back. This is all the talk for this device right now. It's the four megapixel uh, ultra pixel camera. So you know, instead of opting for a 13 megapixel camera, which you see on mostly most smartphones today, or an eight megapixel camera, you know, HTC is really taking the marketing out of the, me the so-called megapixel. And what they're doing is uh, these ultra pix pixels. The HTC claims they let in 300% more light than standard 13 megapixel you know camera phones. Therefore, you're going to get a better image quality, uh, you know, and just a, a vast, a, a clearer, a clearer image. And not only that, in low lighting conditions, it's going to allow more light in, and you're going to get a better shot. Uh, I can show you some pictures that I take. Actually, I will take one right now. Uh, so right now, this is in Zo, and I can get to zone a little bit. But I'm going to shut that off just just to show you the camera. And we'll move this, we'll move this glass in just to see in this screen wipe or something. That's what I always do. Uh, so you do, here's the main interface, you do have a lot of effects right here, you can go through a whole bunch of them, there's a ton of them, so, you know, you can get that kind of effect, you can get that kind of effect, there's just a lot, let's just go with the standard shot, let's take a standard one, uh, no dedicated, uh, camera button on this, so let's take a picture, and then you also have, you can hold it down to take a bunch of them, and then, we saw this in the Sony Xperia lineup too. You can click the best shot, and Samsung, I believe, has that too. So, overall, I'm very pleased with the camera. I think it's great. I noticed in bright light situations, maybe perhaps it wasn't as great as the Galaxy S4, but in low light situations, uh, you know, it was fantastic. And one other thing I talked about was that uh, that that Zo feature. So Zo is really cool what it does it really brings your gallery to life and then when you take a picture it creates uh, a kind of capture it captures 20 images along with a three second movie so i can show it to you in action what it does you know if you move the camera on while you take it you know it tends to make it a little bit cooler so we're just going to move it around so that's it and then if you want to look at it so you can see you have like kind of like a mini video but there are technically a bunch of images. When you go onto your phone, you're going to see 20 images and that little video. And then you can combine them together and use HTC Share and make something called a hi an HTC Highlight Video. You know, there's a lot to do and pretty much it kind of needs a separate review because it's really intense. And if you want to get into it, I've, I've looked on the internet, I've seen some great uh, HTC Zoe's and uh, they look really cool. So that's another feature that... Uh, they bring to the table. Uh, and sticking with the last bit of hardware, I just want to go over this is the the mini uh, mini USB port charging port on the bottom. You can see this nice metal trim on top of the unibody alum, uh, aluminum. You get the aluminum rocker, volume rocker on this side, uh, the back, the camera, and the LED flash beats audio. It's great, no, no carrier branding anywhere, which is really nice. And you stab that trim around the back as well, that shiny trim. Uh, on the front you have the camera, the speakers, uh, and then let's go up here. I'm showing you something very cool. 3.5 millimeter headset jack, pretty standard, and power power lock screen button. What this is though, it also doubles as a, an IR remote, so infrared remote, which we haven't seen on phones since back in the day, like the N95 8 gigabytes, you know, like Palms. Uh, the Galaxy S4 got it too, and so did the Xperia ZL. Not the Z, but the ZL gets it. So how you can use this thing is, I'll show you right now, it's HTC TV. So if you go into TV, uh, this will show you some stuff that's on. And if you click remote, so I've already synced this up to my condo, uh, the TVs at the office here at Gazelle, and the one in my bedroom. And close that. I'll show you, like for instance, in my condo, I have a bunch of different stuff hooked up to it. I have, you know, uh, an LG soundbar, one second, 
I have a bunch of different stuff hooked up to it. I have an LG soundbar, a Comcast TV box, my TV, and it's really it's really awesome. It actually recognizes you know every single one, which is very cool. And then if you just want to switch to a different TV, you just switch it around, and you can pretty much control every TV. So this is you can go through all different button setups and a ton of options. And I think it's just a really cool feature. It's not you know groundbreaking feature, but it's, it's cool to have. I'm glad that HTC uh, put that in there. Uh, yeah, so back back to the to the actual phone. Uh, like I said, it's available on three carriers uh, right now. AT and T is offering a 32 gigabyte model, uh, and they will be coming out with a 64 gigabyte model. Right now, they have silver. They will be getting black. 199 with a two year contract for the 32. 299 with a two year contract for the 64. Uh, T Mobile there, which is with the Uncarrier now, Uncarrier. Branding. They have uh, you only pay ninety nine dollars down, and then you pay twenty dollars a month for twenty four months interest free, and that's what this is. This is I think it's one of the greatest options, or you can buy it straight up. I believe it's uh, either five seventy nine or six twenty nine, uh, and you can buy that in full. And with Sprint, it's one ninety nine for upgraders and ninety nine dollars if you bring your own number over. So they're offering a uh, little incentive for people to switch. And that's under a two-year contract. And they also have, they have the silver and the black, but only the 32 gigabytes for now. So you do have a couple different options. No word on Verizon yet. They're still supporting the HTC, uh, the Droid DNA. So there's really no word on on if Verizon is actually going to get it. They're always late to the party usually with with uh, with everything. Uh, so let's go into Sense right now. So this is, you know, Android 4.1.2, but it does have sense over and you guys probably haven't really noticed sense that much and the big thing with sense is this blink feed so what I did is this blink feed is kind of like a flipboard of kind of like all your social media your calendars your gallery all mixed in it is kind of cool it just the one thing I don't like about this phone if I had to pick on one thing is you can't get rid of it so I threw it all the way over to my to my far left screen uh, you know it aggregates all my content all day so at first I hated it now I find myself periodically checking it because it's kind of like all my news. It's kind of like Pulse and Flipboard put together, but really cool UI. So it's it's not bad. I just wish HTC gave me an option to uh, you know to remove it or move it to the side or do something like that. Uh, but it's not bad. I can live. I can live with it. Uh, overall, I think this is probably right now the best Android device in the market. Uh, you know the Galaxy S4 might be a little bit faster and maybe have a little bit more uh, set of features. Some may call them gimmicky. Uh, I'm one of them. Uh, with the HTC One, what you do get is an incredibly good looking phone, a fast device, and just a pleasure to use. Something different, you know. You're not, you're not going with a typical Android plastic device. You're, you're getting a premium look, a premium feel, and a premium finish on, a, on an Android device, which is right now even better than the finish on the, on the iPhone 5. So right now I think this is my top, uh, top phone of choice. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my review. Thanks.